So it's AP season once again, and like a good student, I've been studying from the very beginning of the year. <laughs> Hello friends, I'm Crystal, and this is what AP testing is like in 2020. I was planning to study over spring break, but then when the coronavirus hit, between online testing, open notes, senioritis, did you really think I was going to study? But it feels really weird because usually around this time of the year, I'm stressing out about AP tests, finals, and now that I'm not really doing anything, I'm stressing out about not stressing out. So it is currently 8.45, Monday night, and my first AP test is Calc BC tomorrow at 11 o'clock, so I'm going to start studying now. Since we're allowed to use our notebook, I'm just going to be bookmarking sections that I think are important so I'll be able to find them later when I'm taking the test. And I forgot to mention that I'm taking four AP tests this year. Calc BC, AP Lit, wait, Calc BC, AP Lit, Calc BC, Literature, Biology, and Psychology and I haven't started studying for any of them. So let's get started. I will just be using regular post-it notes to mark my pages. This is my Calc AB notebook and I was really diligent when I was making these notes. I, I numbered all of my pages. See this? And I even made this nice table of contents in the very back. But this year for my Calc BC, I don't even know what's going on. I have no idea what I'm learning. And my notes are all over the place. So yeah, we're gonna have to organize that. Honestly, ever since I became a senior, finding the motivation to do schoolwork has just been so hard. Like, I really don't wanna do it. And this, my friends, is how you get a five on the AP test. So now I'm gonna get ready for bed and hopefully be asleep by 11, so I'll be well rested for tomorrow's test. See you guys tomorrow. Good night. It is currently 10 o'clock and I need to be logged in to my account at 10.30, so in 30 minutes. I already prepared everything. I have my pen, my paper, my notebooks, notebooks. So I thought while we're waiting, I could show you guys my outfit of the day. I am wearing this plain white t-shirt from I don't know where, and these really nice elephant pajama pants that I got from my cousin. I usually wear leggings, but I jammed my toe really badly the other day on a scooter. I was just walking by and I hit my toe on it, so it wasn't even while I was riding it. And it is a very nice shade of purple right now. But I can't wear anything tight because my toe will scream. I don't know if you guys want to see it, but if you don't, just close your eyes for a few seconds. This, this is what it looks like. It is very swollen and bruised. Literally looks like a sausage. It's safe to open your eyes now. I will not be recording myself actually taking the exam because I don't want my credit to be taken away. If I pass, hopefully I pass. Okay, I'll see you guys when I'm done. So I just finished my calc exam and it was easier than I thought it would be. Of course there were a few problems I didn't know how to do, but I just wrote random stuff and moved on. Maybe they'll give me some points for it. The only thing I'm worried about is that it felt a bit too easy. Whenever I think a test is easy, I usually don't get a very good grade on it. Like one time when I was in sixth grade, we took this science test and I thought it was so easy, but when I got it back, I got a 70% on it. And little 6th grade me has gotten straight A's all the way up until that point, so I broke out in tears. And this kind of thing has occurred multiple times over the past few years. I feel like every time I say a test is easy, I jinx it and I get a bad score, so I'm just gonna say it was hard. It was super hard. Like, really hard. Make sure you guys study, okay? Study. On that note, sectioning my notebooks was very helpful. Although I did mainly use my Calc 
AB notebook instead of my Calc BC notebook. My next exam is literature at 11 a.m. tomorrow, but I'm not gonna study for it. I mean, how do you even study for English anyways? Read a bunch of books? I read a ton of books and my essays still are trash. Literally this whole past year, I've been getting D's on my essays. From my freshman and junior year, I was pulling off A minuses, like literally 90%. So it was all good, but then senior year, I just cannot analyze works of literature. It just doesn't compute in my head. It doesn't make sense. Although my English teacher did say that my essays are getting better, and I don't know how because I've been writing random stuff, like the most random things ever. Basically, I just start connecting things that I learned from my life into the essays and she said it's really good. So if you guys are having trouble with English, that's the secret. Just say things like, oh, people always procrastinate even though they know it will not turn out well for them. If I knew it was this easy, <sighs> if only. Good morning, friends. So it is currently 10 o'clock in the morning and I am about to take my AP Lit test in an hour. We've got a lot of time to kill. I thought I'd show you guys my outfit of the day again. I am wearing a top that I've had since middle school, so about five or six years, and another pair of pajama pants. These ones are penguins, perfect for the season, and it's also from my cousin. If you're wondering what that blue thing is back there, it is my cap and gown, and I've been too lazy to put it away properly. Instead of us getting in a walk, we sent in a picture, a video of us throwing our cap in the air, and a video of us turning the tassel. And since we still have time, I guess I'll just put it on for you guys. This is the sixth graduation. I'm playing this song. Cause no one's here to play it for me, so I've gotta play it for myself. We really got robbed of our senior year. This thing cost $21, and I'm not gonna get to show it off to everyone. And also, we worked so hard for the past three and a half years, and I know a lot of us seniors were looking forward to enjoying the last semester, but class of 2020, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep on being your amazing self. We will get through this. Now back to the AP test. I'll see you guys in a bit. So I just finished the AP Lit test, and all I'm gonna say is, I hope I passed. Honestly though, online AP tests don't burn my brain as much. Instead of sitting on a hard chair in a boring room for 3 hours, I can take the test in 45 minutes from the comfort of my home. It is also really helpful that we can use our notes. As long as you know where everything is and you know where to find it, then I think you're set. So I will definitely be using the sectioning method for my bio and psychology as well. My next exams are biology on Monday and psychology on Tuesday. I will probably start studying for those over this weekend. I will not be including them in this video though because I'm pretty sure it's going to be the exact same routine and also I want to get this video uploaded before AP season is completely over because this video is not going to be relevant at all after next week. I don't know about you but I don't want anything to do with AP tests after it's over. I was actually planning on uploading a banana bread recipe video this week, but I last minute changed it to this one. So make sure you are subscribed so you can celebrate the end of AP season with banana bread. Bye!